Leap.new is an app builder that makes it possible to do more than just front-end and prototyping. And Leap helps you keep building no matter how big your project gets and deployment can be done straight to your account on AWS or GCP. Hi, I'm Simon and I'm working on the Leap team and we just wrapped up launch week where we introduced Leap 2.0 with a bunch of new features. But if you haven't tried Leap yet or if you missed out on launch week, then this video is the perfect place to start. Let's dive in. Leap.new lets you build real full stack apps. So both the front end, which is the UI in the browser and the back end, which is the server logic that handles authentication, APIs and databases. Most vibe coding tools claim to do backend, but actually rely on third party services like Superbase or Firebase. And that's not really your backend, that's just someone else's. Leap builds apps that are designed to be maintained with consistent coding conventions and documentation built in. Unlike all other vibe coding tools, Leap allows you to deploy your apps directly to your cloud account on AWS or GCP, allowing for secure integrations with your existing systems and data while keeping everything private and under your control. Leap is powered by Claude 4.5 and is now able to do a lot more than just writing code. Browsing the web to look up third-party documentation to get things right the first time. Edit and generate images using Nano Banana. No need to leave Leap to create beautiful logos or marketing images. Leap runs builds as it generates code, spots issues and tries to fix them immediately. You end up with working code and way less errors. And when Leap needs a judgment call, like making a design trade-off, it doesn't guess. It pauses, asks for your input and continues with your direction. Automatically integrates with Clerk for enterprise-grade authentication when user management is needed. And you don't even need to leave Leap to get the API keys. In Leap, your work is organized into changes. Each change represents one feature you're working on. And while inside a change, you can prompt Leap or edit the code yourself. And when you're happy with the feature, you merge the change to save the progress and start fresh on the next feature. And if you're not satisfied, you can discard the change to go back to the previous version of your app. Leap also comes with a bunch more features that sets it apart from other platforms, making it suitable to build long-lived maintainable apps. Automatic architectural diagrams. Get a bird's eye view of your system, which is great for introducing someone new to the project or when you want to get a developer involved. Service catalog. Generated documentation for all your services and APIs, so you know how the system works even when you didn't write the code. Target mode. Interactively target elements in the preview page for inline edits or scoped prompts. Database imports. Connect your existing databases and build apps on top of them. Built-in database explorer. Allows you to peek into the database, which is great for adding test data or debugging problems. Real-time collaboration. Work on the same project at the same time with your team. And of course, two-way sync to GitHub, which allows you to work on your project in your local editor or on leap.new. And that's it. Go try leap.new, it's free to get started and join our Discord community if you have any questions. See you.